Okay, Kate, let's start with your sight words right here. Stop. Okay, Kate, let's start with your sight word phrases. So let's start with these words and then we'll move on to your phrases. Okay. Put your bell right there. Mm -hmm. So this is that one where that bossy silent E is going to make that a long A sound. Yes. Bossy silent E is going to make that a long U sound. Is that a U or what? That's a U. Use. Use. Mm -hmm. And this one, so what's the long vowel sound for that vowel? A. Mm -hmm. So put that sound in there. A. There you go. Here's your base word. Jiggle. Get down, please. Oh, sorry. So we're, we're looking at this one. And there's your base word if we take off that ES. This go. Yeah. Where? Mm -hmm. Get down, please. Good. Tell. Now tell me why. Yeah, nice job. Okay, so let's put down. Cast on this list and let's practice this one for next week. I'm going to add a couple of the sight words from up here that were still a little sticky. Okay, so Kate, take your pencil and could you make an arrow from this bossy silent E to that vowel so that we'll remember that silent E is going to make this vowel long and so it's going to sound like what? Yeah. Long. <laughs> So, if it's a long vowel, it's going to say its letter name. So, what's the name of that letter? Okay. Oh, yeah, exactly. So, now put that sound in there, and what do you get? Okay. Right? So, your name is an example of the spelling pattern that these two words have, right? Where your bossy silent E on the end reaches over to touch the vowel closest to it, makes it say its name. So, the letter name is... The letter name here is A. A, and if we put that sound in there, you get your name. Mm -hmm. So, same thing here. If you put that letter name in there, your word is? K. Exactly. Yeah. And the same thing with this one. Draw an arrow from your bossy silent knee to the U, oops, <laughs> to the U that it makes say its name. And remember, it's going to be a long vowel sound, which means it's going to say the name of its letter. So, the letter name is? Eves. There you go. The letter name is U. We're going to put it into our word to get the, the word use. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll practice those for next week and we shall then move on. And list 28. Okay, got that on my notes. All right, let's take a look at your phrases that you've been practicing this week. There we go. We'll put this over there first. I like it crisps. You can tap that one if you want to. Crisps, crisps. Close. Look at that blend. Tap the blend. This is. This. Yes. Now put the beginning on. Crisp. Yay! Now do it. I like it crisp. Yes. Okay. Not bad. Who will? Mm -hmm. Look at your digraph there. Chop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Will they shot, shoot, it, shot, it, shoot? Yeah, so this vowel sound 
is going to be like, what's our clue word for that short vowel sound? Uh, mm -hmm. Put that sound in the word now. Will they not shot it soon? Shoot it soon. Close. Okay. Put a box around that U, Kate. That's the vowel that's a little sticky. There you go, yeah. I was going to show this to you. So this word is, mm -hmm. and this short vowel sound is like our clue. Go ahead and do our clue. Uh-huh. And then if you put that sound in that word, you get, yeah, and then read the whole phrase one more time. Can you see okay? Will they shut it soon? There you go, nice. Let's try the next one. Oops. Did they, did it clog, mm -hmm. did it clog? Yeah, what's something you know that might clog? A sink? Sure. Have you ever had that happen? Yes. <laughs> Me too, and it is not fun. I bet your dad doesn't like when that happens. Hey. <laughs> not really. Okay, so listen, how about if for next week we practice these again? This one was no problem. These three were still a little bit sticky. So let's practice those again for next week, and then we'll try them, and then we'll move on to five more, okay? All right, and I'll write those down for you guys so that you'll remember. Okay. Ready for some letters and sounds? Mm -hmm. Yay. <coughs> okay, Kate, okay, let me ask you something. This is called a what? Sue, hold on. Stop. Let's, so I can see those, because I can't see those, okay. All right, start again with them. Can you, can you flip them and start again? Replay. <laughs> it's movies, Kate, it's movies. Which one did you want to check before we start again? Did you want to check this one? You have the sound right, yeah? I'm gonna ask you what this is called. So remember your page there that you have about? Diagraph? Diagraphs, and then I'm gonna ask you, hey Kate, what's a diagraph? And you're gonna say, for two letters make one sound? Exactly! See? Easy cheesy, right? <laughs> I'm also going to ask you um, the difference between a digraph like this and a consonant blend. Like, what is this called? Mm -hmm. I would want you to say this is a consonant blend, right? Blend versus a digraph. Oops. And then I'm going to say what's the difference between a digraph and a blend? So consonant blend is what? Do you remember that one? Mm. How many sounds do you hear? Two. Right? So, but here you said you hear how many sounds? One. Uh-huh. So a digraph, like you said, is two consonants that make one sound. A consonant blend, still made of consonant letters, right? You still hear each sound, but they go together quickly in the word. That's the difference. So it basically has to do with how many sounds you hear. Okay? All right, are we good? Okay. All right, are you ready? Kideki. So do, let's just do sounds, Kate. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is called a what? Oh. Mm, this is, yep, two consonants. How many sounds do you hear in this? Mm -hmm. So this is called a consonant blend. blend, right? It's a consonant blend. You still hear each consonant sound, but they're going to go together very quickly in our word. Mm -hmm. So we'll come across a digraph in a couple minutes. Uh, oh. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a consonant blend. sound is? Yeah. Look, can you think of a word that has the sound in it? Something you might wear in your head is what I'm thinking of. Hat. Right? 
So there's our word. Mm -hmm. There's our sound. Right? Okay, so trace that and tell us what it is and what it says. Yeah, now this is called a constant diagraph. diagraph. Yes. So what's what's a diagraph? For two letters and one sign. Exactly. Good. Mm -hmm. Per. It. Short sound first. F. Yeah. Like what? Uh, what's our picture word? Ed. Mm -hmm. We've got that guy over there with his name Ed. Can you think of another word that has that sound in it? Ned. Okay, we could use Ned. I like Ned. Okay, so there's our word. Ned. Mm -hmm. Goes with our short vowel sound. Yeah. Alrighty, let's put this one in sand. Okay. There you are, ma'am. Let's put it on the ceiling. Ready? Do it again. E says F. E says F. E says F. Awesome. And then let's write it. That's a crazy one, right? You got it. Let's stop there. <coughs> Thank you, ma'am. Cool. All right, let's do the chip game. So remember this, where each chip uh, stands for a sound, mm -hmm. and we're just going to play around and move the sounds around 
in the different orders. Okay, let's start with this one. Set, set. I want you to change set into sit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. All right, tell me what you changed. The middle one. Yeah, so what is this now? Pay and set. We got set, but you changed it to. Set, right? Mm -hmm. Sit. So this it would be. What sound? Yes. Sound. S and your word is? Sit. Okay, so you changed your middle vowel sound there, right? Mm -hmm. Let's turn sit into sick. So do you have to change a beginning, a middle, or an ending sound? Ending. Yeah, but you just changed a what? Mm hmm Yeah, so let's go back. We're going to go back to sit. S it. You do it. it. Okay. We want to turn sit into sick. There you go. You changed your ending sound, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me what you have now. Sick. Do one at a time. Good. S-I-C. <laughs> Good. We could even spell. So we've got sick. We want to turn it into thick. Yeah, beginning sound. Good. Tell me what you have now. Thick. Yay. Turn thick into thin. So you changed the middle sound? <laughs> Which sound did you change? Ending. Yes, so tell me what you have now. Thin. One at a time. Thin. Thin. Awesome, good job. I'll take you to the back. Thank you. I'll probably use those later when we stop. All right, I've got some words for you. As always, kind of a mix of words, mix of sounds. I put our favorite sight word that we've been working on right there for you. <laughs> um, Will these words have short vowel sounds or long vowel sounds? Short. How do you know? Because yes. um, these are two vowels. Right, yeah, right? How do you know if it's going to make a short vowel sound or a long vowel sound in your word? Yeah, what comes after your vowel? Kind of like, uh huh, right? So, um, do you remember we talked about a certain type of syllable where you have a vowel closed off by at least one consonant? Remember what kind it's called? Your vowel is closed off by a closed syllable, yeah. And closed syllables are going to have short vowel sounds, so that's how we know. Okay, so go ahead and read those words for us. short sentences for you. Yeah, and, fold them. and you can use your yellow strip anytime you want to. Don't have to, but if it helps you use it. Short and sweet silly sentences. So you could break that up like you do in syllable division. Mm -hmm. 
Here's your first syllable. Mill. What's your vowel sound there? Mm. Short or long? Short? Yeah. Mill. Yes. Mm. There you go. Yeah, we're going to put it together one more time. The fainted hand of Tib. Ab to Melon. Okay. <coughs> Tell me one more time. Thin, thin, did hand the tap to Melvin. Nice, there you go. Keep going. This path is not on the map. Yeah, very good. All right. And then if you flip that page to the last chunk, Kate, you'll see some words for syllable division. So your pencil's there. Do you remember your steps? What's your first step? Underline the top of the There you go. And the next step. Putting the C in it on top of the consonants? Yes. And then your rule for dividing syllables is? Well, line through the two consonants. Yeah, very good. And then what do they sound like? Hob, no. Hob, no. You're good at this. You got it. Well, that's supposed to be an I. So. Hey, come make yourself comfortable. Are you already taping? Yeah. You can be wherever you want to be. So this should be I seven that Hi. Yes. And you got? Can wait. Good. Keep going, you're doing great. Take a look at your ending. Tap that if you need to. Yeah. 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 Now put it together. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your second syllable. What's your mm-hmm? There you go, now you got it. Kind of a math word. Now this Kate, just so you know, is a totally made up word. So don't don't worry if you're gonna sound funny when you say it. <laughs> So do your do your steps first. So your first step was. Uh, second step is. Mm -hmm. So keep going with that. Finish that step. It's okay that it's a longer word. You still follow your steps. Then you divide between them. Right. Yeah, did you do that just now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you want to fix it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I see where you have two consonants that you divided between here. Is there any place else in the word where you have two consonants together? Are you? Yeah. See, so no matter how long the word is, you just follow your steps. So there's no place else where you have two consonants together, right? That you could divide? No. Okay, so then do one syllable at a time, and then we'll put it together, just like we always do. Okay. 
<laughs> I told you it was a totally silly word, but did you see how even on a longer word that you hope it, it's not even a real word, you can still follow your steps mm -hmm. and you can figure it out, right? Yeah, you did great with it. Awesome. Okay, let's grab your paper. Let's switch over and do some writing. Ready for some what sizing? Oh, do you want to put your name and the date up there? Do you know today's date, by the way? Because I've lost.